Hey everyone, Lance here, and today I'm going to review a selfie stick by Vantru. And I'm really excited to review this because unfortunately there's a lot of selfie sticks on the market that um, just don't work that well. Whether you're looking at the Bluetooth versions or the wired versions, one of the common problems um, as you're using these is as you extend your selfie stick, uh, it doesn't stay in place and you'll find, you know, it'll, your, your phone or whatever will start rotating and, and slipping around. So i um, really happy that this one doesn't have any of these problems. So let me start out with kind of the features uh, of this particular one, what I like about it, and then kind of show you uh, how it works. So this is the Bluetooth model and it does come with this little clip or a little uh, wrist thing at the end here that kind of ties on down at the bottom. And then it also comes with a carabiner clip and a micro USB charging cable. And it only takes about two hours to charge this up fully. So I wanna show you how this works. Down at the end here, you have, um, this is where your phone actually goes in and this loosens and tightens it so you can uh, rotate that around. Now it's nice is when you're not using this, you can rotate it down so that it, it uh, just uh, collapses there and, and then it makes it uh, very portable that way. Um, so again, you can find the angle you want, you can tighten it, and then you can go ahead and, and stick your phone in. Now, the one thing I found is this does have a good bit of tension here. And there's been some other models I've used where there's, where there's a lip at the end so that you can kind of use your thumb to uh, use that to lift it up. So this does kind of take two hands to go ahead and, and get it in there. And, uh, but the good, the good thing is that because the grip is so strong, it uh, stays put really well. So even if you have the, this is the iPhone 6, if you have the 6 Plus or another larger, heavier phone, um, the grip force will definitely hold it in there. And that's important and uh, definitely works well. Now, as far as extending it, what I didn't get at first is you need to twist this to get it to, uh, to come out, uh, to get the uh, extension to come out. And I found that it works best if you hold this thing up top here rather than tr trying to twist it down below. And so that comes loose and then you can twist it and you'll hear like another little click and then it will basically keep pulling out. And then you can see here, this is pretty long so that if I were uh, holding this like right at my kind of chest level here, you get an idea of, of how far it is. And I'll give you a, show you a video clip so you get an idea of what it looks like when you're actually using this. Normally to get this type of an extension, I'd have to hold my hand out like this. And as you can see, it's just, you know, it has that typical selfie look versus with this, you know, I think it looks um, much better, much more, a little more professional looking. Um, so anyway, just so you get an idea of what that looks like. So what's nice is this stays in place really well. Uh, this doesn't, uh, the, the phone doesn't twist um, or these uh, extension poles don't twist at all, which I really like. Again, that's a common problem with a lot of these selfie sticks is the weight of the phone will cause this to twist around and you don't get a stationary position here. So, you know, you can move it all around up and down and, and that's what I've done with it as I was using it. And again, it works great. And then to go ahead and collapse it, uh, you can just hold it up here, twist it, uh, and then it um, collapses in place there. The, then the five, you can take your phone back out, collapse or loosen this so you can collapse it back. So the bottom line is I really like this. I like that it's well made. I like that it holds your phone. You get great extension. You can of course adjust how uh, long you want the extension to be and everything stays in place. And that's to me what makes this worth spending a few extra dollars on as opposed to some of the cheapest ones out there is they end up just being a hassle to work with. Now, the only reason you may want to consider something else is if you don't uh, want to use Bluetooth or maybe your um, phone or whatever doesn't isn't Bluetooth compatible, then you'd want to go with a wired option instead. But otherwise, the Bluetooth option does work great. It pairs easily with my phone. And then you can just literally turn it on here on the side. Um, it'll, uh, the little light will come on to, to pair with your phone. And then you can, once it's connected, you can just push the button, take a picture and you're ready to go. So really, really like this really happy, like I said, with the quality and ease of use. So whether you're looking at something for yourself, um, a selfie stick, 
or as a cool gift. Um, this would be nice because again, you're giving someone something that they're gonna be able to use and enjoy and you don't have to worry about it um, falling apart on them, which I think is important or not doing what it's supposed to do and so forth. So hopefully this review is helpful for you. Uh, if so, leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And remember to check below in the description for any additional information, including where you can get this app for the best price. But otherwise, thanks for your time. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in another video.